Hi, JJ members. Sean Foley here at Foley Performance Academy. Um, want to discuss with you something that is a reality for all of you, which is a weather delay. And many times in the past, I've heard players go, well, after the weather delay, I wasn't any good. It's unfortunate. It started raining. And then kind of make it more about what happened to them uh, versus how they handled what happened to them. And look, life is a function of bad things are going to happen. It's just how you deal with it. There's no way to avoid that from occurring, whether you're a good person or a bad person. It's going to happen. So, for example, a weather, de weather delay is pretty realistic concern that people who play sports outside have to deal with. And it's not really something that people talk about a whole lot. A whole lot. So we've been discussing here that, you know, we're inside right now doing this because there's lightning outside. So it brought us into this idea where this would be cool to discuss this. So what we see is a player during the weather delay, like still grinding, still focused, not trying to get out of whatever place that they're in their head. We also see players who would just end up sitting on technology the whole time. And all that's gonna do for the most part is make your mind busy. Because most of you kids, when you're on that technology, right? You're either doing something to read something, to learn something, or you're doing something that's gonna be based more into comparison and get the mind busy. And you're gonna start wondering, well, why didn't I do that on spring break? And why did they do that on spring break? And all the nonsense uh, that's a derivative of social media, which is, there's no reason that you even need your phone at the golf course anyways. And then third, simulating a delay at home. And then fourth, nutrition hydration. So still grinding, look, you only have so much concentration a day. From a neural standpoint, fatigue sets in quite quick. So when we're overthinking or we're out grinding, 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 it's gonna be really difficult in a two hour weather delay to stay switched on to what you're doing. And then as a function of that, is going out like a little flat back on the golf course. Two, as far as technology goes, you know, you could be having some fun with your friends, you could be doing that. You could be taking your mind off of the tournament um, in a way. You could be reading a book, you could be doing any of that. Look, I'm not saying I know the best thing to do in a weather delay is, but pay attention through the weather delays that if you do this, or you do this, okay, or you don't do this, the effect that it has on you. So if you're a guy who goes over and you see two or three of your friends or two or three of your girlfriends, and you guys talk and that kind of keeps you in the moment and you're just enjoying yourself, uh, that's not bad to do. I think a lot of people I see sit in the locker room and just complain about, man, I can't believe this is happening. I was three under through five, I was playing so good. And, da, da, da. and they kind of create like end of times fatalistic scenarios which aren't true either. Look, if you're well-trained as a player, everyone's gonna be affected slightly by this, but the fact of the matter that you're going to be where your training is taking you, and then two, where you're gonna be at during this is a function of your own thinking anyways, it shouldn't really matter all that much. So, I wrote here a third is simulating a delay. We know we're gonna have weather delays, we know that, okay? So when they're training Navy SEALs, they know that Navy SEALs are gonna be shot at with live ammo. That's why they use live ammo. So recognize that by the time the Navy SEALs went in to do certain things that they did in Afghanistan and Iraq, they had practiced in a building that was made exactly the same as the building that they had to go and attack. And they'd run it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times because they know in that moment when, when all hell breaks loose, that human being emotionally is gonna go in a thousand ways. But if they have trained and they have myelinated, I'm gonna be here at this time, move this way, move that way, the training then takes care of all of the lack of clarity that's happening in the moment, all right? So simulated delay. Go and play golf, play five holes, come in and just sit down for an hour. And if you get a chance to obviously rewarm up, not a lot of junior tournaments do you get to do that. So you do that and then you go right back out and see what the del the delay affect. Like, did I get tighter in my backswing? Did I, you'll, you'll notice when you do this, that when you simulate the delay, if you're aware, you'll start to realize where it's had an effect on either your swing or your putting or your chipping. So it's gonna give you 
a good way to figure yourself out. But if all we do is ever practice in perfect days and then weather hits, we're not really training in a fashion that I would say is the most productive. And then let's look at nutrition hydration. So I've been to plenty of tournaments where I come in and kids are sitting there eating chocolate bars, having Cokes, having hot dogs, high sugar content, high salt content. It's taking your body just as much to absolve itself of all of the uh, potential uh, influx of sugar and sodium to the point that your ability to go out and be acute and then be astute with your focus isn't gonna be there. So pay attention to what you either are or aren't eating. I'm gonna guarantee you at every single tournament this year, 95% of you are dehydrated. So pay attention to that. We are over 80% water as human beings. So when we're dehydrated, it's a real problem because we can't even function as we're supposed to. I know I don't look like 85% water, but I am 85% water. So in order for the cells and the brain to work properly, there has to be hydration in the system. So when there's a weather delay, I know that's kind of an extensive talk, but just think to yourself about how many times in the weather delay it's affected you positively or negatively or you're thinking of it. So people are still focusing too much on technology. Not enough people are simulating what it feels like so they can be aware how it affects their body. And then from there, nutrition and hydration.